Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking again about iOS 15.4. This is of course one of the best iOS 15 updates with a lot of new features and changes and there is even more things that you can do with iOS 15.4 that you probably didn't even know about. Now another thing that you probably didn't know about is that you can actually help out a lot by subscribing to the channel because most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed so make sure you do that before leaving this video now first off we're starting by talking about the apple watch and the iphone you can now finally restore your apple watch using your iphone if of course you have your iphone on ios 15.4 and you have your apple watch on watch os 8.5 now you no longer need to take your apple watch to the apple store or ship it to them you can just do that straight from your iphone with ios 15.4 now of course if your apple watch needs to be restored you will see a screen just like this on your apple watch so you'll see a phone and a watch just basically coming together and on that case what you need to do is place your watch on a charger and place it near to your iphone make sure that you're on your iphone running ios 15.4 you're connected to wi-fi have the bluetooth turned on and you will see the instructions on the screen what to do next and just like that now with ios 15.4 you will be able to actually restore your apple watch without having to take it to apple the next thing that you can do on your iOS 15.4 device that you probably didn't know about is that now we can share play pretty much anything that you're playing on your device. Of course, share play has been introduced earlier, but now with iOS 15.4, you will have it right on the share sheet. So even on TikTok right here, so if I just go ahead and try to share this video, all I have to do is just go ahead and tap on other right here, and that will have the option to actually share play this video straight from TikTok. That's really, really cool. And again, it will show on any share play here, on any actually share sheet, when you're playing something, you will have the share play button. Or if you just want to share maybe a song from Spotify here, tap the share button, go ahead and tap on more. And right there, you will now have the share play option to share play music or videos, anything you want directly from the share sheet. Now, one really cool new feature that you will notice with iOS 15.4, this is more like maybe a fix, is that now all apps will support 120 gigahertz animations. Now, this used to be like a glitch or bug, whatever you want to call it, since the release of iOS 15. And of course, the newer devices that support that fresh rate, of course, the iPhone 13s. But now Apple with iOS 15.4 has fixed that. And of course, you won't actually just get the smooth animations on the stock apps. You will get them all on all apps system wide on iOS. Now you will have the 120 gigahertz fresh rate on any app that you install on your device, of course, while running iOS 15.4. On iOS 15.4, if you use the Apple Podcast app, now you can filter on the podcast using different seasons. So right here, if you're on a podcast that has, of course, different seasons, you can just tap right there and switch to another season. You don't have to bother with actually searching for an episode or a season. You can just go ahead and do that right from here. But what you can also do is actually filter the episodes based on whether you have played them or not, whether you have them downloaded or not. So here, if I just tap on episodes, I have unplayed, downloaded and played. So you can just go ahead, tap right there and just filter any, any actually podcast you want as easy as that and find the exact episode that you need. Now, this will be great news for a lot of people. You know that on iOS 15, Apple has introduced this feature called Lookup. Basically, you tap right there on a photo, you tap on Lookup, and it will recognize what's on that photo. And of course, you will have here all the different informations you need to know. Well, with iOS 15.4, Apple has expanded this feature. So Lookup now will come to different countries as well. So you will have Canada, Australia, Singapore, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and Mexico. These are the countries to which Lookup will come with iOS 15.4. So if you live on any of these countries, make sure you go ahead and update to iOS 15.4, and you will have this amazing new feature, of course, on the Photos app. And while talking countries and languages, Apple has also introduced two new languages 
on Safari Translate. You will have Italian and also traditional Chinese. These will be supported now with iOS 15.4. So you can see right here, I have just opened an Italian website. All I have to do is tap right there on the AA button. And from here, go ahead and tap translate to English. And as you can see, now Italian is supported and it will as easy as that translate from Italian to English. And of course, if you want to go back, all you have to do is tap right there and tap on view the original. When you go to your settings and you go to the passwords, right here will have security recommendations. If I go to one of my passcodes, you will have this recommendation right here. Of course, this will show up if you have a weak password or if the, this basically password has been leaked or stuff like that. You can actually hide these now with iOS 15.4. All I have to do is just tap right there and tap on hide and it will hide it here from the passcode screen. So I don't see that all the time I open this section. But of course you can go back here and go to security recommendations where all the security recommendations will display and you will have a new section right here for hide hidden security recommendations. You can find right here all the recommendations that you have hidden. And of course, you can go ahead and reset these directly from here. And they, of course, will show back right here on the passcode screen. You probably know that with iOS 15.4, Apple has introduced a new home screen widget for the wallet app. But did you know that you can actually 3D touch on this widget and tap on edit widget? Once you're here, of course, you will see basically a description here of what this widget does. So it says that you can take a quick glance at the Apple card balance and spending activity. Now that spending activity and the balance that you will see there is for this period so it's weekly but of course you can tap there and you can change to monthly or to the yearly period right right here and of course display the amount of course and the time that you want right there on the home screen of your device on ios 15.4 if you go to your notification settings you will find out that find my and tracking notifications are now on two different groups so these have been separated now you will find here your options for the find my notifications of course for the find my app but if you go lower here we'll find a new section that has been added with ios 15.4 called tracking notifications so let's just find it so here are the tracking notifications and of course you can now go ahead and change these notifications as well of course customize them any way you want and last but not least if you have a ps5 controller and you use it with your iphone or ipad you have to know that the ps5 dualsense adaptive triggers are now supported by ios 15.4 and of course ipad os 15.4 so that's really really great news so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video these are 10 things that your iphone can do on your ios 15.4 and you probably didn't know about thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one